Hello all, Terhi here again. I'm playing with Hipkit Club October Kids again. And I'm really excited about this layout because it includes one of my favorite background um, techniques. I'm collecting few mists in red and yellow scheme. One of these mists uh, is from October Color Kit. This one is from Shimmers. I don't remember the shade's name, but you will find it from Hipkit Club website, hipkitclub.net. So, um, I covered the whole page with clear gesso to make sure that the surface is uh, good for water and other wet medias. And then I'm just adding mist drops and water and mist drops and water like thousands of times. And once I feel I'm completed with the first color, I'm taking another one. And this is how the colors are uh, mixing together um, slowly. And then I will receive nice patterns for my background. It's really easy and it's quite creative way to do a background and you can actually play with the colors as long as you want to. Uh, even though at some point you will have to stop adding water because otherwise you will have a lot of mess and lots of um, not straight paper. Um, the clear gesso will do it work, but if you um, drop the whole paper to water, then it will be not that good. So, um, anyway, uh, the paper will be good with mist and a few drops of water. Yeah, that's what I thought to say, but didn't find words um, first. So that was with the background, the first layers, and then as we had the most beautiful stencil in October Color Kit, it was from Echo Park, I decided to add a layer um, with Haiti Swap modeling paste, golden modeling paste through the stencil. Uh, the modeling paste is also from HipKit Club, it was one of in one of the kits in last spring so it's kind of nice to get these products and you can use them for for with your second kit or anyway use them together as you can see uh, the stencil work will cover parts of the first layer I did for the background, but I don't mind. It's quite nice to have the layers and details together all over. Uh, I also did some kind of paper cluster before using the papers from October Main Kit um, and did some cutting with Big Shot to make some nice lace um, edges using the cardstock kit. Yeah. There were nice color, uh, colored cardstocks in October cardstock kit, so I decided to make something with them too. Because I don't use them for my backgrounds, as you see, always doing white, but can't help with that. I did that one black a few weeks ago, and I'm still really proud of myself. Anyway, back to this layout. Well, once I have added the photograph, which I adore, and it matches perfectly for this color scheme, I'm adding these nice wooden uh, embellishments. Um, and I, if I remember right, these are from uh, We Are Memory Keepers, and these are nice, thick, uh, a little bit glossy wood, which um, which is really nice because. Um, they will give this finishing touch for the layout. I'm also adding some notes from Project Life Kit and then a sticker for the title. Uh, and I don't want to add the title sticker straight to the photograph, so I added it for the paper to the paper and cut it off and then added some 3D foam behind it to give some dimension and uh, 
it kind of pops up more this way. And the last phase is to add more drops of mists if needed, but I didn't do that a lot because I think it was nice this way. So that was it. This was a really multi-layered layout, but I really love it. And I love using hip kits because they are all matching together so perfectly. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them here or send me an email or anything. I'm ready to answer for all of your questions. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon again. Bye!